All right, guys. Um, just to talk about the electrics in Spain. I've mentioned ring mains, and I shouldn't have done on the, the other video. I actually meant circuit. There's a difference between the two. UK predominantly uses rings, um, or even in the UK, they're moving away from rings. Uh, but what you have is here, one of the biggest problems is that although the cables aren't really that big a deal, because um, they're 1.5s, in the UK for electrics, uh, for sockets, we normally put in 2.5. Um, but here they use 1.5, that's that's the diameter of the, the actual uh, copper cable itself. The current flow on that um, can or can't be a problem. The, in fact, I would say the, the biggest problem is that too many people have single sockets and adapters on them because of when these places were built, you're talking about people that just had a TV and a radio. They didn't have a 55-inch screen or 60-whatever-inch 60 screen, surround sound, um, the, uh, the desk lamp, the uh, internet, and everything else all plugged into single socket, adapter, plug in, adapter, and you've got all these sockets. In the UK, we normally fuse the, the adapters or we fuse the plugs so we, we know when it's drawing too much. Here we don't really have that. We've got the the circuit on the box, which is should be rated about 16 amp per circuit um, for the sockets. Well, that'll only go above 16 amps. Your plug and everything could be drawing more than more than 12, 13 amps, and quite simply just getting hot um, because it's drawing too much, but not enough to trip the box out. And this is where you get the heat build up because if we get into impedance and resistance, I equals V over R, you start to find that the resistance uh, between two points generates heat. And um, this is why um, you like fuses. The, re the whole point of a fuse is it's just a piece of wire, or whatever, with the resistance level. Once it goes above that resistance level, this is why it pops because it basically gets the heat's too much and it basically just breaks it. So that, that's basically all a resistor does. Well, you haven't got that protection in the sockets um, because your plugs don't have it. Um, now, at the same time, like I said, I do recommend that you should be running on 2.5 anyway, not 1.5. Um, and also I do think, because the price difference is virtually nothing anyway. But also I do recommend um, that the circuits are split up. Because like the place, four places now, everything's on one circuit. All the aircon, all the um, cooker, all the lighting, all the sockets, everything on one thing. And it's pure laziness by the electrician. Because what you have in the, each room is a little box on the wall where they've run their cables to it. And they just join them all together like a bird's nest. Um, now, what they should have actually been doing is pulling for each circuit. So personally, what I would actually like it, say our flat. The lights should be on one circuit because there ain't that many lights anyway, or even two circuits. You know, they basically have one for the hallway so that if the bedrooms go out, you'd always have the hallway lighting on and vice versa. Um, then you'd want to split the, the electric should be split on the sockets to do two different circuits. So you could say have your sitting room on one and your bedroom on the other. And that's, so you've got some electric if one of them pops for whatever reason. That's what should happen. Then you should have your aircon split onto different circuits because they have a different amperage. So the point is the RCDs, the breakers on those, are a different level as well. So they should actually be separate as well. But also, if you've got two air conditioning units and one's faulty, guess what? When it's red hot, you don't want to wire together where the one keeps switching both of them off or the engineer's here or it's going to be a couple of days and they've left the circuit off and you've got no air conditioning. Separate the circuits. It's not that it's not that expensive, and but you'll notice the difference if you haven't got it, because if you have, you can leave one of the air conditioning units on if you've got two, or you know, the, the well the cooker should be on a separate one as well. Um, but the point being is, I'm noticing a lot, and they, even when I look in the IET um, forums, there is confusion about the installations because a lot of the installations are so bad. 
every like I said they shouldn't all be wired together but I'm finding that pretty much everywhere so far um, but you should actually separate the sockets and one of the things I will say though is make sure if you're doing an upgrade upgrade all your sockets double them all change the wiring double the sockets and if you can get a um, breaker so that it'll actually trip it off if you're using multi points it's worth doing because it'll save it burning out internally because there's nothing there stopping the electric flowing until it gets over 16 amps or a direct short and this is why I'm finding melted sockets melted plugs uh, cable burn up and in, inside is because there's nothing saying switch it off um, because it will just keep drawing it until something shorts out somewhere or something pops um, yet yeah, it shouldn't be drawn that much electric in the first place but a lot of it is down to the fact that they were never de designed for that amount of power to be used in you know when they were originally constructed because quite simply people didn't have that many electrics I mean having two sockets in a uh, sitting room would have been normal uh, probably 70s 80s but once you start hitting the 90s you've got about six all right thanks for watching